In the last few days, we have seen that themes such as trust, faith and confidence in the Lord have been quite prominent. And we have also seen that the Lord has invited us to be persistent, to put our whole heart and soul in whatever we do. Now we see that today's gospel reading will also carry on from where we left off. And therefore, in today's gospel reading, we see that the man has complete faith and trust in Jesus. He is blind, he wants to see, and he shouts on top of his voice so that the Lord may hear him. In spite of the people telling him to keep quiet, we see that the man is persistent and finally his faith is rewarded. Similarly, in today's first reading from the book of Revelations, we see that the reading reminds us that God sent his angel to John who bore witness to the word of God. Now, in today's gospel passage, we see that Jesus says, your faith has made you well. Now, what is the context of this statement and how can we apply it to our own lives? Let's find that out during today's episode of Tea Time with the Word. But before we can begin our reflection, let us take a look at the readings for Monday in the 33rd week in Ordinary Time. Today's first reading is from the book of Revelations, chapter 1, 1 to 4, chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. And the Gospel is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18, verses 35 to 43. Now, today's readings will emphasize on placing trust in the Lord. And at the same time, there will also be an emphasis on being persistent and committed to the cause. Well, today's first reading from the book of Revelations tells us how God had sent his angel to his servant John, who then bore witness to the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. And therefore, God tells us to hear and have faith in the word of God. Ultimately, our whole life, our activities are supposed to be a reflection of what the Word of God is all about. The Gospel values, the Beatitudes should be reflected through our words and through our actions. And therefore we are called to radiate the love, peace and joy of Christ in whatever we do. Now, today's Gospel passage will emphasize on this aspect of persistence and faith in a much deeper manner. Now let's take a look at this. We see that on many occasions, it becomes difficult for us to really have faith and trust in those difficult moments in life. We've already seen in yesterday's gospel passage that Jesus tells us that in spite of being stuck in difficult, tough situations, you are supposed to place confidence in God. Now, though this may seem difficult, but it is not impossible. And therefore, with the grace of God, it becomes easy for us to put this into practice. Now, in today's gospel passage, we see that there is a blind man. And somehow he comes to know that Jesus is passing along the way. So, with that, he is in a way filled with hope that Jesus will be able to do something for him. Now, when Jesus went from village to village, we know that people would flock to him. And each one would come with their own intentions. Some would come to have an experience of him. Some would come merely to be healed. Others would come because they like to be in his presence and listen to him. So whatever may have been the reasons why people came, we see that ultimately they went back with some kind of satisfaction. Their hearts were always filled. And similarly in today's gospel, we see that this man is also rewarded for his faith and trust in the Lord. Now, the gospel will show us the faith of the blind man. 
and it is the faith of the blind man in Jesus that made him well again. Jesus was able to heal him because of the faith that he had. That is why when Jesus says, your faith has made you well, it means that there requires some effort on our part as well. The Lord gives us the grace, the Lord is ready to help us. But if we are not willing to accept it, if we are not receptive, then it will have no effect on us. And that is why Jesus emphasizes on having faith and trust in him. And in the gospel, we see that the man only heard that Jesus of Nazareth was passing by and immediately he cried out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Now we see that in spite of the people telling him to stop shouting, in spite of being rebuked by the people, this man kept on crying. He never remained silent. And in spite of the fact that people were trying to silence him, he never stopped calling to Jesus. Now there is something quite interesting in this aspect. We see that sometimes our way of practicing our faith may be hindered by those who do not want us to do it. Now there are various re examples where we see that people have been stopped forcibly from practicing their faith. What this example of this blind man tells us that we need to be persistent that if we really want to have an experience of Jesus nothing can stop us from having the encounter and being connected to Jesus. And therefore we see the cry of the blind man was heard by Jesus in that crowd. You can imagine it was quite a crowded place. In spite of that Jesus was able to hear the cry of this young man. Now. Here we come to know that the Lord never abandons us. He's always attuned to us. He knows what we want. And that gives us a lot of confidence to place our faith and trust in the Lord. And we see that Jesus will always listen to our cries and heal us. In some way, all of us are blind. Spiritually, we all require healing. And therefore, we ask the Lord to give us the grace so that we too may be spiritually free that we too may be able to, to see the world as it is that we may perceive reality as it is that we may put aside all our differences and prejudices and accept the world as it is so as we reflect on today's readings let us pray for this grace that we too may be able to place our faith and trust in the lord and together we may be able to help him build the kingdom of god Amen.